I can't even imagine how many times I've made you tell this story now. That you've made me tell the story, I think, five, certainly, that I can remember. I'm saying tell the story like I'm some kind of raconteur. <laughs> How does it come up? So it came, it came How does up. Does it come up when I don't bring it up? It comes up because I'm discussing my stupid name, Casper Salmon. One's from the top. In the past, in I think 1986 or 1987, possibly 1988, in the 80s when I was a child, my grandmother was invited to attend the opening of some kind of sea thing and she opened the thing yeah well i couldn't remember what it was do you see because i was a kid i couldn't think what thing she'd been to and then i had subsequently had it confirmed to me it was the anglesey marina so she attended the opening of the anglesey marina uh, and she attended it in the company of other people from the area in north wales where she lives who also happened to have fish surnames because my grandmother's called Pauline Salmon, so there were there would have been a Mr. Uh, you know Mr. and Mrs. Crab, or or um, Carp. So because uh, this is a key point as well, actually, that I've not really scrutinised. How many fish surnames are there? Because for instance, you've listed two. And yeah. I've never heard of a carp. Jenny Carp. <laughs> There are loads of others. Think of more fish. There are them. Okay. Like, um... um anchovy. Uh... Pollock. Jackson Pollock. Okay. Fucking eat it. Cod. Yeah. Okay, no one's called Cod. So they get there. They get there, and everybody who is there, including the crabs and the, and the herrings and everybody else, receives... Uh, a copy. I keep saying a copy. What's the what's the word for? Re- they receive their own surname as a fish, <laughs> as a present. <laughs> so the people who are called salmon receive a salmon, and the herrings receive, I suppose, more than one herring because a herring is a smaller fish. So, <laughs> but you you got a version of your name. So my grandmother received the salmon and she was able to take it home and cook it. <laughs> and it was given to her by Sir Michael Fish, uh, <laughs> the weather presenter from the BBC, <laughs> who was there to open the marina officially, so he was the person. And he was there giving out the fish to everyone. What point in Michael Fish's career is this? Sir Michael Fish of the BBC. Well, I think this is... This is the thing that I, I'm not sure about, because he, he had the nadir of his career when he failed to predict a hurricane, I think, maybe. Good afternoon to you. Earlier on today, apparently, a woman rang the BBC and said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. I think that was in 1988 or something. And if I'm correct, then in 1986, he'd have been at the height of his powers and fame. <laughs> and and wonderfully he fit the theme perfectly because he was famous and his name is Fish and the theme was Fish. Your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave your message after the tone. Hi, I'm looking for Mr. Bass. Uh, it's about the opening of a marina in the 1980s that I'm hoping you might know something about. Is that Mrs. Crabb? It is. I'm looking into the opening of a marina in the late 1980s. Um, I don't suppose that rings any bells. Where was the marina? What town was it in? On Anglesey somewhere. There are lots of places on Anglesey. The reason I ask is that apparently the organisers filled the opening with people from the area who had fish-related names. <laughs> no, you've been trawling through the directory, have you? More or less. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, uh, I'm having to reach the Mullet family um, regarding the opening of the marina. Hello, uh, is that Mrs Haddock? Yes. Uh, uh, is that Ms Pike? Yes. 
Is that Mr. Place? Hello. Fish-related surnames, like yourself. I think we went there, perhaps, when the kids were little, but I don't think we got invited there, you know, with a fish-related name. <laughs> Hello? Is that Mr. Whiting? It is, yeah. To get as many people there as possible with uh, fish-related surnames, uh, like yourself? <laughs> That's a, that's a new one on me. Hello? Hi, is that Mrs. Turbot? Yes. I'm calling about the opening of a marina in Anglesey. I don't know anything about it. Uh, the reason I ask is that I know... Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Maybe it was because the time I called, or just because young people don't really have landlines anymore. Right. Um, but most people were in the right sort of age bracket to have been around at the time. Okay. And the most common response was one of amused bafflement. <laughs> <laughs> but so perhaps it's a lie. Well, so okay, I've, sorry. I've also reached out to Michael Fisher's agent. And let me read you the response I got back. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. Hi, Charlie. I'm afraid that this isn't for Michael, as first and foremost, he doesn't remember opening a marina in Anglesey, so possibly you don't have the correct person. Best Nick. Oh my god. But there are a lot of fish people in this uh, phone book, so I figured I'd keep trying. Oh, hello, is that Mrs. Herring? Yep. I'm calling because I'm looking into the opening of a marina uh, in Anglesey. And the reason I'm phoning you is because for the opening, the organisers invited uh, people from the local area, from North Wales, um, who had fish-related surnames. As far as I'm aware, this was some point in the late 1980s. 1980s? No, we didn't come here till 88. The only thing we've done is we went to um, a thing at... Um, Anglesey Sea Zoo uh, with Michael Fish. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> yes, yes. So it wasn't a marina then? It was a. It was at the Sea Zoo at, at, at uh, Anglesey, on Anglesey. Sea Zoo? Is that like uh, an aquarium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big aquarium. And I, I don't suppose while you were there you were given anything? Um. Uh, hang on, my husband's here. He might remember a bit more. Hang on. Hello? What was we given? We were given two of our fish, weren't we? We were given herrings, weren't we? On a white tray. Oh my god, this is brilliant. So it was a bit uh, vague, but she was very specific about where it was, which was this Anglesey Sea Zoo, which it is an aquarium. Okay. Not quite sure why they called it a sea zoo. A sea zoo. As though the, the word aquarium didn't come to mind when they were doing the naming. So three weeks from now, on May 27th, <gasps> I'm going up to Anglesey. No. On the 8am train uh, via Chester. Yes. And uh, have you done that route? A million times. What should I look out for? There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Go to Anglesey and just look at the sea. And go and see the go and see the lighthouse. That's nice. And then get the hell out. Oh no! And go and see the bridge as well. The um, thing he did a bridge there. Eisenbad Kingdom Brunel. Very nice bridge. Actually, I've been an arsehole. Anglesey is lovely. I'm thinking of Colwyn Bay, <laughs> which is just awful. I honestly can't tell you how excited I am to be here. <laughs> Maybe we could start by talking about what makes the Sea Zoo special. I love talking about what makes the sea zoo special. That's why I'm here. We are completely unique because we have only native species, all British species. Our water comes from the Menai Strait, which is right on our doorstep. So all our systems are natural systems. They're sustainable systems. Um, the seasonality, the temperatures, everything is the same as the sea around Wales. It's amazing how many people in Britain know absolutely nothing about what's in the sea in Britain. I love that aspect to it. I love the fact that we get adults, teachers, even OAPs coming here who say, oh my God, I never knew that, that's amazing. You know, they learn something. They learn something new when they come and visit. And how long have you been here? Um, I bought it myself nine years ago. It was launched by four partners, I believe, or maybe three originally. And then two of the partners were a couple. They sold the business to me, so they actually branched out to do Hallam on Sea Salt next door. 
So they are still using the, the water from the Menai Strait, but they're using it to make salt now. So you two opened the Anglesey Sea Zoo. You're the de facto heroes of the entire film. That's scary, isn't it? Uh, first off, uh, why don't you tell me whether the whole thing is actually true? It is true. Absolutely. It was a, a pivotal moment of the Sea Zoo. It was, it was really important because we'd invested everything we had in the Sea Zoo and we're on a remote island. At that time it was pre-internet, pre-email and we wanted to tell people about it but we had no budget to do it. But as soon as we floated the idea, we produced a press release. Floated, that's what you did there. Yeah. Calling Mr. Piranha, it said. Officials doubt whether they'll find a Mr. Piranha to invite, but there are plenty of other fishy names in the phone book. But we had to get herring, carp, spratling, pike, haddock, winkle, cockles. And jelly. Yeah. We had to make them a jelly oh, yes. in the end, didn't we? Uh, the jelly family came from mould, and they were some of the winners. We did relax the rules for the jellies because they came from mould. We just couldn't resist that one. Yeah. And they were very nice, weren't they? They were yes. very pleased. And we were in everything. We were on the BBC World Service and we were in the sun. And, you know, it seemed to be like a good news story. And it worked beyond our wildest dreams, really. Michael's a star catch and Top Fish is put in his place. You know, every sub-editor produced every corny thing they could come up with. And now you're over here making salt? Yep. What did you do when you opened this place? Uh, we built a birthday cake in the shape of the building. Hard to beat Michael Fish, isn't it? If there was a weatherman called Mr. Salt. Yeah, who could you get? You'd have to get, uh, you could get salt from salt and pepper. Yep. Oh, great. Yep. Yes. So I brought you back a gift from Anglesey. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> this is amazing! So that is Michael Fish at the opening of the Anglesey Sea Zoo. Um, not only a salmon, but the <laughs> salmon that was given to your grandmother. That's impossible. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I had no recollection whatsoever of opening an aquarium in Anglesey. Got a heart of gold. He's a goldfish. Because I've opened so many aquariums that they all blend into one, as it were. He's mean and moody. He's a dogfish. Now, I never regretted having the name, but I think thinking back, it was probably an asset rather than a, anything else. Seems like he's got you a fair bit of work. Yeah, he's got a fair bit of work. I had a song all about me as well. I wish, I wish, he was like my fish. Cute and cuddly and quite a dish. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? That was about 20 years ago now. I'm not cute and cuddly anymore. <laughs>